What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pikmin 4. Yes, Colin, I'll be there with, with you in a sec, okay? What do you have to uh, talk about? Ever since you started, your hard work has really saved us. You're the rising star of the rescue corps because we're too useless. When it comes to exploring uncharted planets, danger is just part of the job. Still, I have no doubt we'll manage. Us. <coughs> How can I be so certain? Because my own useless ass was rescued by you. Colin, what do you want, my friend? <laughs> You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field, so check them out. <laughs> now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get our day and explore? Uh, bye for now. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. So come find me. There's something else I want to do first, if I can. Yes, I can. I want to farm more Pikmin. So one, two, three. Because the more Pikmin we have, the better it is. And those that we we don't have to hatch them yet, but um, they will grow and then become stronger by that. Hmm, the onion stopped splitting out seeds. Based on life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit. How many can be out on the surface at a time to bring unnecessary loss? Okay. I can live with that. So 20 is the current limit. So then, let's get ready to explore. Well, look at I guess we explored the Sun Speckled Terrace. What? It looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. We need to get them out there. So let's get them out there. Bye, you suckers! Oh, the onion's going too? Yeah, I have a friend, bitch. So then, how does our first proper area with lots of death look like? I hope fun. Old garden. Hey. Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. One piece is real! <laughs> Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. See the clock? It's that set up so that at the end, th that the hand will reach the rightmost edge of the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue common post before dark. I'm on the job. <laughs> I won't use copy that. Try to remember that you're supposed to respond with copy that. Anyway, get out there and make us proud. Hello? <laughs> oh, you probably noticed that the onion accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the voyage log, the onion also serves as a form of transportation for the pigment. Um. 
We've got a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. I think you could put those pigment to good use. Well done, let's do this. Give me my Pikmin. Wait. So. Okay, uh, you can be good too, I guess. And I see a treasure already up there. Okay, and they... I, I don't take them with me yet. Careful, there's something up ahead. So we all know that one. The beetle bug. I think it's called beetle bug. Heave ho, heave ho. So that means we have 10 more Pikmin up in store inside there. Oh. Come in, Betty. I forgot an important detail. That is, you're going to need Ochi's help when it comes to researching for the rescue officers. He has a sharp sense of smell, so he'll be able to locate the rescue officers by taking the sense. Use whatever that is uh, to open actions and use the whatever that is to select a search comment. To begin with, come and don't you to pick up a scent. You never know where this nose may lead you. Okie dokie. Rescue operations are a race against time, so put your dandory skills to work to find our rescue officers quickly. You look a little confused. Have you never heard the term Dandori before? Well, it's... Well, uh, it's the art of organization your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plan quickly. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's still a core tenant of the rescue corps, so take it to heart. Embracing the art of Dandori is essential to our work, and you'll need it out there with searching for our rescue officers. To get things started, open whatever that is and come in Uchi to sniff out our missing comrades. Okay. Follow the scent, Uchi. Okay. Sounds a little bit like cheating to me, but okay. Rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Olimir's voyage log. Raw materials. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it is more in common with amber and other fossilized bio biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. I should be able to find many applications for it. I'm a, I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. If we had a scientist spec, I bet you'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. He'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. Then all of you will gather that quickly, please. Yeah, 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 we can do something about this wall soon. I just want to collect everything first. Great, the pile is transported. We have one segment of the day done. 
let's go. Can't I send all of them at once or something? Oh, that's not expected. Hassa, we can get past that wall. Since there's a cave, as it seems, I'll better take all my pigments. And how does it taste, Ochi? Okay, then let's rush. Strawberry? That counts as a treasure? Okay, okay. I, I, I don't question. Ooh. If the eggs are what they used to be. Yeah, they are. Oh. Did you see that? It bloomed the flower. What's going on here? Hmm. That substance is called nectar. When people consume it, it stimulates their growth. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. No. They really are mysterious creatures. Exactly. So, take in your drugs. I don't have more with me at the moment, so that's fine. Look, there's a cave here too. This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue efforts could be retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Probably. Maybe. Eventually. I know we're pretty far away, but I want to explore. I'm not lost. Okay, so we have that thing. Is that... what is that? No idea, to be honest. And OG, you can take that. Because, as you may know, the red pigments are not just the strongest kind of fuss I'm aware, they are also resistant to fire, which is hella convenient. And as you see, the pigments that we planted here earlier are now ripe, so they don't need any nectar, because they are already completely leveled up. Unlocked, and then let's keep going. Hello, hello. Wait a second, he said we have something new in the tablet. Status report. How many Pikmin we have? Ooh. How much pro? Okay, yeah, like that. 
our missions, obviously. The badges. Anything new in the rescue journal? Comment formations. Press L or F to select personal and issue presses or orders to your units. Quickly select your rescue pup by pressing L and R. Okay, good to know. So now let's read what we had so far in the voyage log. I had barely begun my search when a strange thing reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. It resembles a vegetable on my home planet called an onion. I shall call this an onion too. It sprout glows and sways if it's inviting me to come closer. Pikmin, a fascinating creature, emerged when I plucked the sprout. I tried to put some distance between us, but it followed me close behind. It seems quite friendly and looks similar to a pick pick carrot, my favorite vegetable. It's, I call it a Pikmin. The seed-like thing I harvested from that flower must be some kind of food that propagates more Pikmin. I will these condensed nutrients call pellets and the plant a pellet posy. That's very nice. The Pikmin nest. As evening fell, the Pikmin climbed back up into the onion and took to the sky alongside the SS Dolphin. Astonishing. The onion must be both a nest and a form of transportation. Preservation instincts. The onion stopped releasing seeds. I went to check on it and saw that the pigment will only propagate inside the onion once a certain number are out on the surface. Could limiting the number of active pigment be a strate strategy to avoid extinction? Pigment maturation. I've noticed that when they consume nectar, a flower immediately blooms on the pigment's head. Yet when they mature and they grow from the sprout, the leaf becomes a bud before a flower. Either way, the more they grow, the faster pigment become. That could be useful. The Red Pikmin. Fire should be a natural enemy of the Pikmin, but Red Pikmin continue through the flames where other Pikmin would burn. Their attacks are also a little bit stronger than those of the other Pikmin. Could those qualities be somehow related? See, I told you. I found treasure. Okay, we already had that. We had that too. And we had that too. No, wait. This is Captain Olimar. I'm currently stranded on an unknown planet in the far reaches of space. I'm in dire need of assistance. Please send me help ASAP. So now what I am curious is if we go to stat and press minus. Here we okay. Look ahead, select Pikmin OG, manual target lock. We'll see. Target lock is always nice to have. So a few more pigments that grow. Yo, digging. Oh, nice. We have 10 Pikmin that will suffice for now. And charge. Okay, we have seven with me. That was barely enough. Oh, 
that, that, that's a vegetable, isn't it? Or fruit, peach or something. And the, seed, the plants already regrow. I don't mind that. Because the more picking we have at store, the better it is for us. I mean, how many do we have in here right now? 35. Oshi, are you there? Okay, I thought Oshi oh, wasn't there. So now that is cleared. That part is cleared out too. Now I want to check yeah. something in. I noticed you look at the radar map just now. Why don't I tell you about the handle of the function it has? Oi. The system will mark discovered caves and cleared areas with mm hmm. If you go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It's very useful. Okay, well, what I want to do, I want a status report and a gameplay guide for the controls. Okay, well maybe there is a way. I don't know it yet though. Let's just get them all to, well, collect that stuff. I also think um, based on how long a day is, we make one part one day. Should be long enough, I'd say. So, twenty more. I remember in the early days of Pikmin it was 100, so maybe that will get bigger too later on. Maybe we need certain items or more trust. Ooh, they even said 10. Another circle of stones. We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Olimar left them behind for us so we could track him down. Hello. Never mind that for now. I wonder if we're in this creature's territory. Hold. We should create a base here. Any legendary master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature. No, Ochi! Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, that was fast. Makes things easier too. Was this under construction at point? I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put it to good use if it was finished. Yeah, if. Okay, we might not want to go inside that right now because, um, come here, babe. 
He's dying! Hurry! The Pikmin is drowning! Use me to call it back to shore with your whistle! So yeah, they, they don't like swimming that much. Not a huge fan. Keep on moving. Heave ho, heave ho. No. You want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. When that happens, there's a handy trick for keeping your sights and aim where you want them. Oh. Press R set R to fix your auto target lock and keep your aim focused on one target. It makes targeting nimble enemies or aiming while you're in motion a snap. No, a Pikmin died. Or did it die? I don't know. A Louis Vuitton bag or something. Can you go? Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. According to Captain Olimus' voyage lock, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to this area around the base. It seems the creature gets even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. So everyone goes in. It doesn't uh, serve any purpose to keep on do going. Keep on doing, yes. Grammatic learned uh, with Yoda, I have. And we end the day. They even kept the old music, I like that. Like that was the Pikmin 3 music. No one was rescued, we found the lesser mock bottom and the uh, aspiration ritual ball. <laughs> Great work today. Well, it's a shame we couldn't track down any of our missing rescue officers. We haven't detected any rescue things at the overground. Hmm. The rescue cops does attract the adventurous type. If any of them were to find a cave, they'd probably dive right in. Hey. That is where we found you, Captain. Tomorrow, let's focus on exploring and seeking out more caves. Rescue mission day three.
But yes, rescue mission day three won't be done today. It will be done tomorrow or another day whenever I decide to record. I hope you have a great time, wish you a nice day and bye!